Ethan, good to see you. Um, we just spoke to your manager just a second ago, and he said he was delighted with how you performed since arriving from Manchester United. How have you found it? Um, it's been a it's been a ride, really, um, because obviously coming from Manchester United, I'm not really expecting quite the things that have happened so far. For example, the physicality of the game so like took me by surprise. You know, um, just having to deal with players quite a lot bigger and stronger than you and how they use their body and whatnot. Um, the way we play, um, I knew that we, we play very good football, but not to this extent. Like, um, I, I can't say I've played in the team like it. Um, the trust that the manager has in us to uh, be able to keep playing the ball like in tough situations, getting out of the situations, switching the play, um, something I'm not actually used to, which is also like good for me because it, it gives me like that sense of like composure on the ball uh, that I'm learning from being here. Um, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm loving every second of it. I mean, the way MK Dons play is, I mean, you, you'll find some teams in the Premier League who won't play as much football as MK Dons do. It's almost unheard of in League One. Yeah, um, I mean, but that's the way we should play football though. That's, that's um, the way football should be played, you know, it's entertaining. Everyone wants to watch our games because of the way we play. And that's the way it should be, um, because I, I know I'm not a fan of the the route, <laughs> route long, just because it's not really entertaining um, to, to watch. And I don't even think it's that effective, because once <laughs> you can't stop a team that just keeps having the ball and possession, and something, you just can't stop it. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm buzzing. What about the, you mentioned the physical nature of things. Um, was, was that a real surprise then? Because we know what League One can be like. It, it can be rough and it can be tough. But did you just get, have to get used to that almost immediately? Yeah, because um, 23 is level, you're, there is quite a bit of contact, but they're um, kind of, what do you call it? Kind of timid in a way. Um, so there'll be a bit of contact, but it's kind of timid. And I, I came into here thinking, oh, yeah. Just, just a little rustle and bustle. Coming here, I'm seeing because obviously when uh, these like kick long from like goal kicks and whatnot, I'm out on the outside and you can see what's happening in the middle of the pitch before they even get to, <laughs> to the head. There, you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Um, but yeah, um, that's something that I just wasn't expecting. To be fair, and obviously like they try to kind of rough you up um, as much as they can, and it's just something like at first it's like what's going on here kind of thing. You shouldn't be allowed to do this, but it's football, you got to get used to it. And I feel like that will help me in the long run because I'll be able to deal with players that are trying to stop me um, using their physical bodies kind of thing, but I'll, I'll be kind of used to it. So I'll be like, <laughs> that's not going to stop me. So, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, you've been playing as a right wing back. Do you do you see yourself more as a wing back or a full back? Or, or, are, you, or are you happy either way? Happy either way. Honestly, the... There isn't much of a difference, to be fair, because when I play right back, I do what I'm doing now kind of thing. <laughs> um, but the only difference really is that you start a bit behind, to be fair, because um, obviously the way Russ wants us to play, it's more attacking minded, even when we're defending. So like, he'll expect me to be in front of my winger, just to block it and then go to the uh, left back. Um, and that's the real only difference, to be fair. Um, whilst when I'm playing right back, it's like stay behind your winger and go for, to your winger kind of thing. Um, so it's just little different things of, like the press and tactics and that. But I'm pretty much doing what, I'm, what I've been doing. Um, so, Do you think you've kind of improved from every game? Of course, of course. I mean, just just learning just in itself, like... I'm not even taking it as a performance-wise. I'm just taking it as learning because there's stuff literally every game that I'm learning. And it's you almost get to the point where like you're thinking, wow, like I've learned this much in what 13, 14 games, like, and there's still quite a few games to come. So um, nah, it's 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 good. And do Manchester United keep in contact? Do, does the under 23 coach phone you up and say, how's it going? What are you doing? What have you yeah. found? That type of thing. Yeah, we have um, loan managers. There's a couple of them keeping in co contact and, you know, just 
giving me information, this and that, where to work on, this and that, just keep me in the in the loop. And I suppose for, for next season, you know, obviously Russ would love to keep you, but I suppose that's down to Manchester United to see how they want you to develop. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I, I can't say anything so far, so like, who knows? Um, you got an assist last game. Is that something that you, you're obviously trying to to improve every game, get as many assists and, and goals if you can if, through the season? Yeah, of course. Because um, I, I had a, a little conversation with um, some of the staff here and like even at United, how like I, I create quite a bit of chances, but the actual assists, the actual goal, it, just, it hasn't really come in as frequently as my chances. Um, but obviously that's for me to like work on and improve on. Um, just giving more clear cut chances, whatnot. Um, doing basically putting on the plate whenever I can. Um, but yeah, it's just like obviously you want to get as many assists as possible, um, many goals as possible, so you can just like help the team. So, um, what age did you start at Manchester United? How old were you? Oof. <laughs> um, <laughs> officially, I think it was around ten. I think because yeah. uh, when I was a bit younger, um, I was around the fold about around nine, but then like, I had like a year trial. <laughs> um, so it wasn't the, the common six week, I had like a year trial, and then they, um, they signed me from there, and then it's been going since. I suppose having been at one club for such a long time and, and it's almost been part of your growing up, it, it must be kind of nice having a new experience at a different club. It's, it's part of the journey, like, um, obviously the the main, my main focus when I was a bit younger was like, oh, from the academy straight to first team, this and that. But then you realise through just, for example, myself having injuries, this and that, and that's not always going to be the road. Like, everyone's on their own journey, you just got to be patient and just wait for your time. And me doing this, I feel like I've almost grown into a man. Uh, just obviously having to look after myself, this and that. Being away from home, well, a lot further away from home. Um, just real, real world, to be fair. Just getting, knowing how to like fend for yourself in a way. Um, so yeah, now nah, it's a great experience for me and I feel like I've taken a lot out of it. And just a final one from me. You've been given lots of feedback from, from MK Dons, presumably, well, see Russell Martin was an excellent defender in his day and you've got, uh, Dean Lewington at the back there so I'm not sure they're giving you loads of advice are they? Oh of course every day every day because I, the good thing is that they believe in me and what I can do and what I, what I can provide and because I'm still young they're just trying to give me as much information as possible um, so help me down the down the years of me playing um, so yeah of course they they recognise that I'm a young player and there's still a lot to learn um, and they're helping me out with that Cool. Nice one. Thanks, Ethan. I think one of the biggest takeaways that, that most people who've watched you can can sort of glean is that you look like you're enjoying playing football. I think there was a moment on, on Saturday where Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank was giving some stick to somebody and you just looked over and you sort of chuckled to yourself and carried on walking. Like, <laughs> you know, it looks like you play with a smile on your face. Of course. How, how can I not? I mean, I'm playing football. Um, I mean, when I was uh, a couple of years back and whatnot, that, that was a struggle for me because I wasn't really playing football because of my injuries, this and that. Now I'm in a proper team where there's a proper team like camaraderie, like every, the chemistry is so high. We, we all want to fight for each other. Um, the manager as well, the coaching staff, all the staff around MK is just a real, real good place to be. Um, and that's where you kind of see me enjoying myself because I know even if the worst was to happen to me, someone's going to be there for me kind of thing. Same for vice versa, same for anyone else kind of thing. Um, and obviously playing football in itself, I, I, just, I just love it in a, in a way, like, because it's what I've been doing for so many years. It, my hobby has became my job. Um, so <laughs> I have to keep smiling. Um, so, yeah. It's easy for a lone player sometimes, I think, to um, almost, you know, treat it like you're not you're not an MK Dons player for example you're a Manchester United player and you know the, the the fate of what happens to MK Dons might not be you know of a high priority to, to, to some players that we've seen coming online before but how much would it mean for for 
dons to finish as high as possible while you're here. A lot. That's that's the goal. I mean, I came here to make a difference because I believed I could make a difference, and the manager did as well. And if that if that's if that's us getting as high as we can, I mean, that's why I'm here, kind of thing. Um, I'm hugely invested in the team because I'm playing for them. Um, so I, I I always want the best uh, from us. So yeah. Playoffs then, yeah. If take one game as it goes, <laughs> game at a time. Yeah, I just thought, of, you know, throw that, throw that for you. <laughs> um, how's the shoulder? Because it looks like you've you've been playing with one arm for the last couple of games. Yeah, it's been a been a bit uh, annoying, uh, let's just say the least. But um, you know, uh, the physios know what they're doing. Um, obviously, it's just one of them injuries where you just got to take it easy, this and that, um, strap it up. Uh, it's fair pain wise, you don't really feel it. Mobile, I am very mobile with it to be fair. Um, but obviously, it's just little repercussions that they take, for like padding wise, um, and whatnot, just in case. But I'm confident, uh, physios are confident, the manager's confident. So, no, so thanks very much, Ethan. Good stuff.